Yeah, Khan, Shalom. You know, all praises do the Al Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakakodash. The honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah who came doing the pushing this word, not honesty, truth, and sincerity. Show the whole four corners of the world. A sincere Shalom to the elect. Had a dream the other night. I forgot to record this. It's like last night, actually. Right? I know it's four in the morning now. But, um, yeah, last night I had a dream. So, you know, when I woke up 10, 10, 8, around there, 8 or 9 or whatever, you know, I remember the dream. And I forgot to record it. But now it's like four or something in the morning. So I'm recording this. So the dream was I'd walked across the street from my house. I don't remember any turmoil or any craziness going on. Or there might have been something happening, but I can't remember that portion. But the portion I do remember is that this woman had a child. And it was weird. It was an Edomite woman. I do have to say this through the spirit. It could have been an Edomite woman, okay? Because what happens at the end, you know, uh, listening, you know, and going over in my head the dream, you know, it could have been an Edomite woman, okay? She was a so-called white woman, okay? And the baby that she had in her hand was uh, dark skin, okay? And um, also, too, with the baby... The baby's head had a weird shape. Its head had a shape like a cassava, okay? Almost like a cassava. You know how the weird, you know, the bottom of a cassava would be? And how the top of the cassava would be? So the top of the head res resembling the top of the cassava and the chin uh, resembling the um, bottom of the baby's uh, chin, okay? Just... Just in, uh, you know, in specs, it's, it's basically the baby had like a oval head, like a real, real oval head. OK, I don't know if that was because when she fell in. Something may have happened, the baby got injured or something. But when I was holding the baby in my hand, I noticed, you know, those features. OK, so let me get back to this. And she had a child, and the child was, it looked like a black, like a black doll, okay? I'm kind of looking at my cassava right now, and it, it was like, I, I don't even know, how, like a really big cassava, <laughs> you know, like that type of shape. The head was like that, okay? And the eyes were like, um, because she, she had, uh, she was walking, <coughs> and I said, let me go across the street and uh, go into the store there to go get something. I can't remember what it was, but it was something to do with going across the street to the store. Okay. And when I had walked across, the, the woman that was in front of me, I think she had a toque on, a blue jacket or something like that, and blue jeans. The earth opened up and just she just went whoop right inside. And I seen it because I seen her like sinking. And I was like, yo, that's a, 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 a sinkhole. That's what that's how they start. Like, whoop. so she had, was walking there and she, the sinkhole opened up. Whoop, whoop, she just went right down with the child. Okay. And there was like, I would say there was more to it down in that sinkhole because she had gone down. And, you know, I would say about a foot or two or three, her body was inside of the uh, sinkhole. And when the sinkhole had, like, you could see inside, I saw, like, snow and water, okay, like ice, snow, and water. The water being at the bottom and the snow and the ice. 
but it was gradually going down more. And me, I just hit because I knew, you know, don't try to don't try to put uh, pressure into one point because that's what happened with her. She walked, I think, with her left foot and boom, as she came with her right foot and put that pressure into that one spot, the thing just gradually like, you know, so I spread out, got my body to the floor and spread out and got quickly away from that area. I even rolled and got up and made sure I got up on like the sidewalk and I said, yo, you people get away. And then when I determined through the spirit that it was safe to, uh, you know, go over there and engage. All I remember is the woman <laughs> giving me the baby and she's saying it's not breathing. It's not breathing. And I could see like the eyes look like they're moving and the lips look like they're, uh, you know, water was coming out. So I just, I don't know, I, I, I held the baby in my, uh, in my hand and tapped on his chest just slightly, you know. And I think I was saying, how about Shimmy Oshai, how about Shimmy Oshai, how about Shimmy Oshai. Because the lady didn't look to anybody else. She just came to me out of the, well, not came to me, but she was in the uh, hole and gave me the baby, okay. And then after, the baby was, you know, brought back to life. And that that's, from there, that's kind of like all I remember. I think they even got the lady out of the hole. Okay, but hey, man, that was a, a <laughs> you know, that was a dream that I had last night. Okay.